The concept of humanity as gardener has direct significance for growing numbers of churches. There are 20, about 20 uniting churches across New South Wales and the ACT that have community gardens, from Eden to Moree and from Broken Hill to Sydney, uh, in, our, in our cities, in our suburbs, in our towns. There are people involved in churches involved in community gardening. We've got lawns, tennis courts, old car parks that are being converted into spaces for growing food, for coming together and sharing food, sharing knowledge, building community, and learning all about what it means to be gardeners um, and for Christians to explore a new way of mission that connects with people in our broader communities. Today we're at Miranda Community Garden which is in the southern suburbs of Sydney. And this community garden has been going for approximately three years. And we're going to learn a little bit about this garden, what they do here, and learn about their story. So Mel, you're the minister here at Gaimea yep. Miranda Uniting Church. Can you tell me a bit about what this community garden means to the church? What it means to the church is that they can see their faith in action. This church has been burnt in the last 10 years from trying different things and for them this was one of the greatest developments they could do and get back out of the uh, problems that they faced where they felt they couldn't grow anymore um, and they all came together behind this. Um, it was difficult to convince some people but generally everyone came on board eventually and this is the first big project that they've undertaken um, together so it's, it's been fantastic. Um, so, when did the Miranda Community Garden start? Oh, it started about two and a half years ago. Uh, we already bought this block of land next to the church with a proposal to develop the, uh, the church property, but that all fell through. So we were then left with a block of land that uh, wasn't being used. So uh, a few people in the church got together and figured, well, a good use would be to have a community garden there. Yeah, and why, why did the church want to start the community garden? Oh, really, it's uh, part of an outreach into the community around the, the church here. Uh, the whole nature of this area is actually changing, and you know, you'll see around, perhaps even in what you can see now, high-rise buildings behind the church. Uh, in the past, this was, was not the way it was. It was just uh, smaller housing. So a lot more people are moving into the area. And they've come in and they haven't had gardens in the past, so, so in fact we've got quite a few people from the surrounding high-rise development in the garden. I haven't really been that involved in vegetable gardening until I got into the community garden since I retired a little while ago. And so, you know, it's really great fun just to learn about, learn from other people about how to grow vegetables. Um, and yeah, and it's a really nice community activity, as you can probably see when you walk around here this morning, yeah. And what, what impact do you think the garden has had on the church, having the garden project? Well, it's interesting, probably we've got about 30 people signed up as members of the garden now, and about half of those, or a bit less than half, are in fact church members. So. I think the fact is that we, the fact we are uh, reaching out to other people in the uh, community is, is helping. I mean, what's gardening got to do with church? Well, I think it's got a lot to do with church, actually. Yeah, but that's my own personal view. I mean, we live in God's world, and uh, you know, and we're basically helping to look after God's creation this way by, in fact, uh, you know, by growing our own vegetables and. Uh, just really reducing our sort of footprint on the world. So I think, yeah, personally, I think it's a, it's a great thing to do. Brian Gutson, Gutson, yes, and uh, Brian told me all about his plans for the garden and um, gave me the flyer. And um, I went home and said to Alan, this is what we're going to do, my husband. We're going to join this garden. So we attended the first meeting and um, it's, um, it's been twice a week ever since. Pointed. So, so are all of the different um, beds looked after by particular people? So yes. people have their own, their yes. own plots? Well, yep. the, not, um, the only one that's owned now is by Valda and the, um, the Linus Club. And um, the rest, we moving around, each person moves around. If they want to plant, say, cabbage, well, then we look for a plot that's following on the correct rotation. 
And what does what does gardening mean to you? It means that um, I'm lucky enough to have this gift from God to grow things.